Hey everybody, Jack here, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about a movie that I just saw recently, Early Man. I got tickets to a preview screening of that film, and in case you're wondering, no, this review isn't going to contain any visuals other than this one. This is just my thoughts on this movie. So, Early Man is the latest movie from the animation studio Ardman. They're the people behind such animated movies as Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, The Pirates of Band of Misfits, and Shaun the Sheep, and I love love their movies. There's just a great charm to them, and I just have an enormous appreciation for stop-motion animation, because it's so much easier to make animated movies with computers, and I know, it still takes a lot of time, work, and effort, and I appreciate all the work that goes into making those films. But there's just something about stop-motion animation that just seems even more challenging. I mean, the effort that goes into just moving the model ever so slightly so that it moves smoothly when you put it all together. I really have an enormous appreciation for stop-motion animation. I'm a huge fan of Ray Harryhausen and Willis O'Brien. That's why I love movies like King Kong. So, what are my thoughts on this new Ardman movie, Early Man? Well, I'll tell you after the story. The movie takes place long, long ago during the days of the cavemen. There's this one tribe of cavemen that live in this valley, and their home is taken from them by this new advanced race of human beings that live in this city right next to a volcano outside of their valley. One of the cavemen, played by Eddie Redmayne, journeys up towards the city and discovers the sport of football, or as we call it in North America, soccer. Anyway, he makes a deal with the leader of this race of humans, played by Tom Hiddleston, that if his cavemen try to beat theirs in a game of football, they'll give them back their home. So what are my thoughts on Ardman's latest animated movie? Well, in short, it's pretty good. I wouldn't call it one of their absolute best, but it's definitely a good family film. The characters are pretty good. Our main character, Doug, played by Eddie Redmayne, he's likable. Granted, he doesn't have that much personality. He is just sort of your typical good-natured guy who just wants to help his people. But that's not a bad thing. Animated movies do sometimes have these very basic main characters. The villain is Lord Nuth, played by Tom Hiddleston. He's this eccentric caveman guy with this sort of French accent. He's very greedy and selfish and just wants money. He does have some truly funny moments throughout the film. There's also this wild boar guy who's Doug's pet, who's actually voiced by the director of the film, Nick Park. He's quite funny and cute, although there's this running gag with him that they constantly beat into the ground because it's going to come into play later. And it becomes pretty obvious and predictable what they're going to do with his character. The rest of the characters in the film are fine, but none of them really stand out that much. Something that I must criticize about this film is that it's somewhat lacking in creativity. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole idea of that city right next to the volcano that almost looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, it's like Mordor or something, it's really cool. But unfortunately, we don't get to see much else of this ancient world. Just this one area with the volcanoes and the city and the valley where the cavemen are. I think they could have gotten more creative. I think they could have shown us even more of this place. Also, because the football in this movie is British football, there are things about the way it's played that, unless you're British, if you're, say, Canadian, like me, or American, you won't really get. And as enjoyable as the plot of this movie is, it is a very stereotypical one. It's basically your average sports movie just set millions of years ago. But overall, Early Man, I think, is a very good, enjoyable flick. It's funny, it does have some inventive ideas, and the characters are likable. And it just has that Ardman charm to it. And so, if you are a fan of Ardman, you'll definitely enjoy this movie. I'm going to give Early Man 7 out of 10.